Welcome back to Clockwise Crypto, where we help you move forward towards financial freedom with crypto assets. Today, we're going to look at the legal battle between the SEC and Ripple. Is it over? Stay tuned. So diving into this Ripple lawsuit with the SEC, there's reports that it may have ended in a settlement. So looking at this article here, uh, there are rumors that are suggesting that Ripple's draw out lawsuit with the U.S. Securities Exchange has finally ended in a settlement. Now, right now, this isn't confirmed. This is just a rumor. So whispers have, have emerged from both camps that suggested that parties have reached an agreement as the court case, which bears all hallmarks of a test case against cryptocurrencies, begins to wind up. Looking down here, uh, and see what originally happened was the SEC has filed a complaint against uh, Brad Garlinghouse and the co-founder uh, Larson, who are you know the the face and the you know the leadership of Ripple, claiming that sales of 1.3 billion worth of XRP by Ripple from 2013 to 2020 constitutes an ongoing unregistered offering, which violated uh, part of his, the SEC Act, which is Section 5A of the 1933 Act, device and disposition or transfer. So it's been reported that Garlinghouse comment, comments, coupled with uh, Gensler's admission of an upcoming loss for the SEC, could have been interpreted as a hint that the case may soon come to a close. So for Ripple, it's if we have to, if we come to a settlement agreement. That constitutes a loss because you're settling and you're not pretty much you're not saying, oh, uh, Ripple isn't a security. You're settling pretty much saying, you know, we still think you are a security or not. And so that means the SEC has the potential to come after more projects, more crypto projects within the space. So that will constitute a loss if a settlement is reached, because that's not differentiating what crypto is and it's not seen as an asset but it's seen as a security so looking down here ripple ceo remains firm that his company is doing everything required by the sanctions despite some of the heated questions from critics and competitors the end may finally be in sight for this long-standing lawsuit as expected window of resolution has been set by ripple and the plan on closing it between august 26th and november 18th so we'll see what happens um, we, we are, if you take a look at XRP price, it's currently trading at 74 cents and it did reach a high of $1.84 last April with the all time high of $3.12. The SEC filed against uh, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson in Southern New York complaining about that sale, but uh, the their team hit back saying uh, with a letter to Torres, who was a federal judge, that regulatory overreach has been displayed plain and simple. Before the SEC explains its allegations and and they have failed to explain their allegations and for a number of reasons. Yesterday, Brad Garlinghouse appeared on, on Fox Business to discuss the Federal Reserve Chairman Jeremy Powell's latest comments. Now, this this happened and there hasn't, what the SEC hasn't done is they haven't provided anything concrete that can say what Ripple did was wrong uh, what crypto as a whole is wrong because we're at the point now where if XRP gets found guilty in a court of law, that puts a blanket over all crypto companies. So what would be next? Uh, Ethereum would be next. What would be next? Uh, any any of these projects, Solana, any all these projects, the SEC would be coming after if they operate in the U.S. So that would be big. So the only benefit to other com uh, other uh, cryptos is not all of them are based in the U.S. So um, I think Cardano would be a special case because Cardano is is IOHK. Cardano in itself, IOHK is working on Cardano. Um, I don't believe Ethereum is based in the U.S. either. Um, but when you look at all these U.S. based, I think you would have to take a hard look at uh, um, Celsius, based in New York. 
and uh, the exchanges. Oh my goodness, those exchange the the, uh, the exchanges that are U.S. based. So there's Kraken, Coinbase, um, and there's probably a handful of others. Kraken and Coinbase are the biggest ones. Um, that would be a nightmare if this goes the way that we think it might go. Uh, a settlement isn't necessarily a win. But let's look at let's look at some other articles to see what's going on. So I think this news coming out and a settlement in the works, I think we could see a push up. Because remember, we looked at the other video. We looked at what happens historically. Looking in April, we see what happens in April. Most oftentimes, we go up 30%. March, most times, we go down. So that's, and right now, you know, extreme extreme fear in the marketplace. Uh, last month was neutral. This month has been all fear, all blood on the streets. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens over that. So Ripple gives an unexpected window for SEC lawsuit to close. Um, and this is all coming down to the ICOs, which now you don't really hear ICOs anymore. What we hear is uh, IDOs. Or private sales. You don't even hear ICOs anymore. No one wants to. No one wants to even say ICOs anymore <laughs> because of what's going on with Ripple. So we're not having a. We're not having an ICO. We're having an IDO, a private sale, a public sale, right? <laughs> no one wants to. You ever notice that when I first got in this space, all you would hear is ICO, ICO, ICO. You don't even hear that word anymore. Ever since, ever since uh, the SEC situation here. So, uh, looking more at this. Uh, they expect the suit to close between August 26th and November 18th of this year. I mean, we'll see what happens. I thought, I thought they gave the impression that Ripple gave the impression that they had something in their pocket, like they had some, uh, like a golden goose in their pocket that they were able to to destroy the SEC with, and it doesn't look like. Unless there's something in the pocket we don't know about, it doesn't look like that's the case. Um, are there any possibilities between settlements? Um, everyone's talking about a settlement. So it says right here in this article, it says Brad Garlinghouse also later stated that the company was expecting some decisions from the court. Ripple claiming not fair notice from the security exchange would move to strike is still pending. Um, going down here. In March, Pro Ripple attorney posted a document detailing few rules that SEC and Ripple were assumed to follow. Those rules were face-to-face -face meetings, video conferences, to negotiate settlement conditions within 14 days after fact discovery. So, uh, I'd like to say this is good news, but settlements didn't. The settlement is not. Settlement is almost like we're paying for this to go away. They're not really saying that you guys were completely wrong. Um, so let's look. Let's look here. Uh, price surges as investors turn bullish on potential SEC and Ripple settlement. So the price is turning bullish. But to me, this isn't bullish news. But I know, you know, the market sentiment would be, yes, this is bullish. But if this is a settlement, we got to see what they're settling about. Because I, maybe they're just settling about how they did the ICO. Um, but to, and maybe a part of that settlement is XRP is not labeled a security. That would be great. So everyone is saying bullish news. Analysts have evaluated XRP price trend and predict that the upside cap to 80 cents as traders await the SEC versus Ripple settlement. FX Street analysts have noted that Ripple confirmed a bearish uh, Ichimoku breakout on Sunday. However, there was no follow through as volume participation all coins across exchanges dipped. Uh, which of course it dipped because you know after that news with uh, with the executive order, it was just pump. There wasn't really anything anything deep about it. So, and we look at the Fed and how the you know what the Fed does. And, and the Fed Reserve adopts ICO format for payments that Ripple is compliant with. This is also good news for Ripple because this starts the adoption. This starts the, the integration between 
the uh, old way of doing things versus the digital age of doing things and using the blockchain to process payments. So that is good news. Uh, the Fed based real time payments to run on the new standard and FFS now runs on the same system as Ripple. So that's some bullish news. That is bullish news. Uh, so looking at what they're, what the senior vice president of Ripple saying is that Ripple had already been compliant with ISO 222 and therefore is ready for 2030. He believes that the new standard together with RippleNet will completely change the industry of payments within the next 10 years. So, you know, if you guys watched our, you know, our old older videos, you see that initially we were against Ripple in regards to we got into crypto to be against the banks, you know, take back ownership of of our finances, have control, being able to to send transactions and really have complete ownership of what we have. And and my my belief was at first was forget Ripple. I'll never touch Ripple because it goes against everything we got into crypto for. Now, after seeing Ripple really being the only project to go to war with with the government. The only project to stand up against the SEC and not just lay down and try to stay off the radar, but the only project to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the SEC. I, I, got, I got Ripple. I hold Ripple, and we love Ripple because they are... My stance now is in order for us to see mass adoption, we will have to align with these banks at some level. Now, my thing against Ripple was that we, I didn't wanna, it was the kind of, you know, situations we've talked about in other videos where we wanna not be restricted when it comes to, when it comes to not owning our assets and not and being blocked out of what's ours. Um, I saw Ripple doing that and not being borderless because you're aligning with the banks that would almost have to approve you to send money to certain places. That was my problem. But you know, over the years and looking at you know Ripple XRP and seeing what they're doing and they're aligning with the banks, but they've been the only project to go to war with these old systems. Ultimately, the government. Uh, the SEC and to say, look, what we're doing is legal. What we're doing is legitimate and how we're doing it does not break any current laws. And they're the only ones going toe to toe with them. And so seeing that and seeing what they're doing, yes, they're in line with banks, but that's, you know, my stance now is that's what needed for us to get to hit mainstream ad adoption. That's what's needed for us to to move forward in the cryptocurrency space where everyone in every country can own their own stuff, can, can, you know, with looking at the blockchain, you'll be able to play to earn, you know, so you, you look at poverty, being able to start with nothing and play a video game, earn, earn finances that way and being able to use them to change your life. So the big picture of the blockchain Ripple and what they're doing, aligning with the banks is necessary. But not only is it necessary, they're, they're not just rolling over to the government. They're saying, look, this is necessary. How we're doing is legitimate. And they're kind of bridging the way for everyone in the future to capitalize, not only capitalize, but also change the lives of everyone in the world. So uh, that's, where, that's my stance on Ripple. Um, I am a holder of Ripple. Uh, and I uh, and, you know, you'll see that when we go through our our uh, portfolio and what we have and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not a big fan of of settlements. Um, we will see what happens, though, with this ripple situation. We will definitely circle back. And as of right now, it looks like a settlement is coming and that is bullish news. But it's really not the news we wanted. We wanted to completely completely destroy the lawsuit and uh, have a complete victory but we'll see how it turns out we'll see what's included in the settlement and uh, we'll circle back so 
Have a good weekend. Have a good have a good afternoon and we'll see you soon.